Yo, welcome, Froni. So currently, there's lots of misconceptions on how to upgrade stuff the most efficient way, how to do it with the normal enchantment, and how to do it with the trades, how to get your max value. So now we're going to do it not as like a theoretical guide. We will do it as an example, and we will fully upgrade the Supreme Devotion in this video. And we will also max out the Band of Universal Power. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get the full enchantment for the Supreme of Devotion. And to do this, you always want to upgrade a blue item first. So that means we are starting with that one. And we are just going to pump it up to nine. Okay, so we got it to nine. Now, if we would go like this and just transfer that item now for the 600%, we would lose value. We cannot do this. The next thing that you want to do when you transfer the item is actually you want to trade it out. So we are going to the auction house and we're going to go to the extract of that cloak. And then we're going to pick the cheapest versions. So we have in collision resistance. So yes, we are buying collision resistance for a couple of Lucent. And we will also go and buy the three pieces of silence resistance. And then we need mana region twice. Okay, and one thing for the people that are saying now this is a pay to win video, blah, blah, blah. Nah. Look at the sales history. I've already earned 18.5k Lucent in the game. That's more than 300 euro worth of currency. If you don't know how to do it, check out the Lucent farming guide. And it's really easy. Everyone can do it free to play. It's no issue. So now that we have all of our trades ready, we want to fully trade out that cloak first, even though we are about to sacrifice it. And the reason for that is the amount of blessings that we are able to unlock that way. Because if we are fully trading it, we are getting enough blessings to have almost two guaranteed upgrades on the new item. And if you're seeing here, this one skill damage resistance trade costs 410 Lucent for that cloak. So that's 820. And we only paid a couple hundred Lucent. So we're saving about 600 Lucent if we're doing it that way. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. Now, the next step is not transferring our dummy cloak in here. It's actually upgrading the Supreme Devotion cloak. So let's do that. So now we are coming into the territory where it gets interesting. And that is level seven. So if we are doing one more roll here, we are currently at 9%. Oh, we got extremely lucky. <laughs> That's usually not the case. But if you're able to get to level seven with only 30%, you can then put your blue dummy cloak in here and you're seeing you're going to transfer the blessings as well. Usually you get obviously more experience for that one. That's, that was a bit unlucky. But once you are at level seven with 30%, you can get an instant upgrade to level nine with the additional cloak. And now if we are looking at that cloak, you will see we have 960 blessing, giving us enough resources to upgrade the expensive one twice. What I want to do, I want to actually go and um, use that cloak for PvE, where I have a couple of mana issues. So I only needed to get mana region on there. So let's buy that quickly. Here, to unlock trades that you want, you have no different options. The easiest option is you just buy the trade, you have a free slot, and you want to get it on there, 100% success chance. The um, best slot regarding investment 
is actually the trade conversion right here, the trade already that you want to convert to, it's only 25 conversion stones. It's a lot less than if you're doing that one where you also have to pay the valuable trade unlock stones. So always prioritize that if that's possible for you. And then with the extract of the exact item, you can unlock a new trade. But actually to level up that trade, you can do some tricks to save money. For that cloak, it was not possible because those were already the cheapest mana region out of all the items that were available. But on the ring, I can show you that really well. So here we are having the ring. I unlock the skill damage boost. What um, I don't have to do now is actually level it up with more of those rings or by of extracts of that rings. I can just buy extracts of other rings with skill damage boost to level it up cheap. And if you're looking at the auction house and we are seeing how high those trades being sold, no? like it would be like completely bonkers if you would buy those items. But if we're going to accessories, ring, and we filter here for find trade, you can type it so it's easier to find. We go to skills damage boost and we select it. And we now check for the cheapest rings for skill damage boost we can buy that ring for 660 Lucent and actually upgrade the skill damage boost on our best in slot item that actually should even be in game because the arch bosses are not released. And we can already max that out. You can see now, now we have two versions and it's like, like really easy, really cheap to max it out, even though we are not going for the trades here. Next up, we're going to do the same, but this time for mana region. And here we are seeing mana region is like bonkers cheap on rings yeah like it's extremely cheap so what we're going to do is we select the trade here we do not have anything but this is an item it's best in slot no? where it's definitely worth to use your trade unlock stones we are using the trade unlock stones for 50 select what we want the mana region and then we can just buy those cheap things and get that ring maxed can you believe it that was not even 300 lucent to get the max trade on that item. Like giga cheap. And to make it not look stupid, we're also buying the buff duration only like 300 a piece. Really easy. And you can see we only spent like 2,400 Lucent to get a maxed out best in slot ring, which is like already insane. We got the cloak that we need for the PVE for the higher mana region. Like we are decked and that was cheap. And that amount of Lucent with the Lucent farm guide, if you stack up, you can farm that within a day. Just do all your contracts, follow the guides. It's really easy. If you still have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. And as always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.